okay next you can do some examples uh, okay now i'm selecting a compound this is a compound okay our aim is to uh, identify which notation is possible for this compound which notation is possible and to uh, rename this compound on the basis of IUPAC we can add it uh, notation to describe its stereochemistry then you can say its all name okay for this purpose first of all I can write the compound then on basis of IUPAC I can number the compound 1 2 3 4 I'm numbering the entire compound I get a 4 carbon chain compound According to our CIP rules, uh, the rule number one is assign priority number on the basis of atomic number present in each group. So I can select first carbon. So I can look at this both of this compound or both of this group or atom. On the basis of uh, atomic number, we can say that we can say that hydrogen is lowest atomic number compared to C C. That means we are looking for first atom. Here first atom is C. Here first atom is on the hydrogen. Then we can say is this containing more atomic number carbon having more atomic number than hydrogen. Then number one, number two. This is priority numbering. And here is this opposite. This is one. This is two. Okay. Uh, rule number one is complete. We can. Uh, numbering the entire system then according to number two uh, rule number two we can compare the priority groups we can compare the priority groups here one two one two then rule number three and four three and four you can assign as the e or z notation then you can look at the priority number only you can look at the priority number only here 2, 1, 1, 2. 2, 1, 1, 2 means 2 and 2 are on opposite side. Opposite, opposite means what do you mean? Same side. Same side means zusammen, same. And it is just opposite. Opposite side means E. Which notate E? That means here the notation is assigned as E. And just write in italic mode. Italic mode and within a bracket. Then you can uh, separate this from the rest of uh, the name with using a hyphen. You can separate this E, this notation with the rest of the compound with a hyphen. Then you can name the compound based on IUPAC. That means 1, 2, 3, 4 means it is but and double bond presenting position number 2. Then it is called but 2. E and A. This is the perfect naming. Or oh, you can write but to beauty. But this is the perfect, uh, more perfect way, I think, to represent the name. Then, second uh, example is just similar. I'm just replacing the group. Then you can, uh, I'm giving IUPAC number, position number 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you can find out the position number based on atomic number 1, 2, one to compare this one one two two one one two two that means priority groups are on the same side that means same means zusammen z represent in a hyphen sorry in a bracket within a bracket and it is separated from by using a hyphen then this is also a but but to e and this is a simple example for describing the idea of E and Z notation. We can do more examples. Uh, for this I can select a compound. C double bond C which is attached with different compounds. C2 are identical but that's not, uh, not a problem. Okay, we can uh, assign the priority number on the basis of its atomic number. We are selecting the carbon number 1 in which two groups are present bromine and chlorine and we know that Bromine has more atomic number than chlorine. Then you can number the system. And this is 1. This is 2. And here it is clearly know that chlorine is found to be 1. Hydrogen is least priority group. 
then you can give the name and based on IUPAC okay how we can name this compound this is a lengthy compound and we get compare this priority groups we get <coughs> identical groups priority groups are on opposite side 2 2 1 1 then it is E the first step is you can write E separate from by using a hyphen then you can find out the IUPAC name here the UPSC name based on this compound we can give first we can say bromine bromine has more great priority than chlorine that's why you can say one bromo one bromo and chlorine present in both the carbon one and two then one two dichloro dichloro one two two carbon means ethene ethene eth eth you can write ethene or you can write eth two ene for the same this is example number one on basis of chlorine and bromine substitution then another example the same compound you can write in this way also okay i can directly go to the numbering one two one two here priority groups are on the same side 1 1 2 2 then this is Z this is arm and same side this naming is 1 bromo 1 2 dichloro ethane this is an examples we are doing in case of E and Z notation